Hello and welcome to TA for Traders. It's Monday the 11th of September. In this video, we're going to be looking at the charts on four UK stocks. We're going to start with AB Foods, ABF. They've come out with a trading update today that's hit the shares. We'll then move on to Booker Group where the technicals look good. Uh, we'll then move on to our third stock of the day, Frontera Resources, which had a pickup towards the end of last week, but it's up to resistance. And we're going to finish with RPC Group, where the technicals again look good. So starting with AB Foods, and you can see that the trading update today has broken the shares to the downside. Um, but as you can see, we have had a good run since February. The shares moving up from 2400 up to 32 quid. And they are finding support immediately from the rising 20, excuse me, the 20 day moving average. Uh, there's also a band of support that we can see uh, dating from the 7th of August through to the 29th of August, um, which will give, which should give support on the downside. Certainly gave support um, early this morning. On the moving averages, you can see that um, we're, we're slightly away from the 50 and the 200, but they are still moving up. And it was positive on the 7th of August when we had a golden cross as the 20 crossed the 50. The fall off in the shares over the last week has really uh, decimated the RSI, uh, which is back at 52.97 in, and in a severe downtrend. That will go below 50. And also the MACD have now tracked down with the short term below the longer term. Um, which is a sell sign. Um, so a sell sign there, bad momentum, but into support. Um, looking at the weekly picture, and here you can see you know, the move that we've had on the upside. So this consolidation doesn't really register that much. Um, again, it's got support around 31.44. Um, it was good that we got all these golden crosses on the 20 crossing the 50, 20 crossing the 200. But again, they're overextended. Really, on, on this chart, one would expect um, a sideways move. Let the moving averages catch up. But overall, it's, it's not a negative picture. Um, we broke the long-term downtrend to the upside and we're now in an uptrend. Um, it would really take a break below the moving average, below the 200 day to break that trend. RSI has been hit, but still OK. It's just about in its uptrend at 64.4. And the MACD, although they have been hit slightly over the last couple of weeks, still actually short term above long term. On the shorter term picture, looking at the four hour, um, we're at the immediate support here of the 54 hour average um, trade trading below it at the moment. Uh, but we have bounced from this um, this area of uh, support that I've mentioned in the daily. Also interesting to note that we did have a, have a reverse head and shoulder on that to the break to the upside. Um, but that's history now. Uh, what, what's going to happen going forward? Well, hopefully that support will hold. Um, the, the moving averages will roll down. Um, it'll be interesting to see in the, that will be in a couple of weeks when the 20 gets down to the 50, whether the 50 is still moving upwards. Um, on the RSI, you can see that already we're nearly oversold. That's down at 33 spot 49. So be aware of that. Um, if anything, it's kind of indicating we are about to get a short term bounce. MACD are negative, uh, as you'd expect, and showing negative momentum. OK, moving on to Booker. Um, here you can see that we're in a solid. We were in a downtrend. That's broken. We're now in a solid uptrend and uh, moving into new high ground on this uptrend, which is good. All the moving averages are positive. RSI is showing positive momentum presently at 69. MACD are together 
but if we do get a further upside move, they will diverge and, and come out with their own buy signal. Overall, it looks positive. Looking at the weekly, again, a positive picture. We've broken the resistance to the upside and really one would expect the all time highs up towards the between 210 and 220 to be tested in the short term. RSI um, is at 67.4 and the MACD as well, just uh, creating a buy signal. On the four hour, um, nothing that we haven't seen on the daily. Uh, perhaps the moving averages are more bullish here, having created all these golden crosses back in um, the first week of August does look good uh, we did get support from the moving at the 20 last week which so it's good we got the push up RSI solid uptrend 68 and a half MACD just diversion to the upside confirming the buy signal Frontier resources uh, code FRR had a good jump uh, last week on the fifth um, since the then it's found a bit of resistance and has drifted back. The upside momentum needs to kick back in. It needs to get above that 200 day moving average. Um, otherwise that's going to roll. And as we see on the weekly, it's not such a good picture. But momentum, we're up to 57.1. If we can get some more upside, that will push that into an uptrend, which would be good. Uh, you would then get the 20, maybe crossing the 50. Um, unlikely the 50 is going to have turned around by then, uh, given that the solid downward move that we had. Um, but this could just be the start of a new direction on the stock. Um, so it, it wouldn't matter if it wasn't a golden cross, if the 50 was still moving down when the 20 moved up. But if we can get good momentum on that at that time, that would be good. But we just need to get some more oomph to the upside. Actually, MACD are shouting a buy signal at the moment, and that will be confirmed if they move above zero. On the weekly, um, here you can see um, the trouble that we've got. The bounce is into the immediate resistance of the downtrend in 20 week moving average, and we hit it and move down. It's also moved us down below the 50, but that is moving up. So if we can get above the 50, which is at 0.1766, and that might give the push up towards the 20, which is at 0.1934, but that does need to happen in the short term. Uh, RSI has ticked up, which is good, but it's still below 50, 44.7. Um, so does this, does, does again need to create an uptrend like it does on the daily and the MACD still indicative of negative momentum although the differential is narrowing on the short term um, here we have had a bullish cross a golden cross as the 20s cross the 50 which is good um, again they will be positive and give support on the and I move to the downside but we want them to give the push up and you can see that the 20 is down at 0.129 the 50 is at 0.124 they need to be we may have to wait have a consolidation let those catch up and then they'll give the push up through to get the uh, to get this uh, frontier resources above that 1.9 where it needs to go RSI is positive, but it's starting to create a downtrend, so needs to be watched. And the MACD are positive, but if we don't get some more upside in the next day, then they're going to diverge towards the downside. So we do need some upside momentum very quickly on Frontier Resources to continue the push upwards. Finally, moving on to RPC Group, which is code RPC. Um, you can see that we, um, we've pulled back to the 20 day, we're now moving up. A break to the upside looks imminent. Uh, the RSI is well above 50, 64.66. Um, so there is this slight resistance, um, but the momentum should hopefully see it broken. Um, on the weekly, Again, you can see the resistance that goes up to uh, 949. 
Uh, we're presently at 9.30. Um, if we can break above there, that would be a, a positive picture. You could even say we're, we're having a, it would confirm a reverse head and shoulder, shoulder kind of elongated double head, uh, right shoulder, so it would be positive. Here the RSI is at 59, which is good and in an uptrend, and the MACD above zero and in, a, in good shape. On the four hour, um, here you can see that uh, we've got just this slight resistance up, up at 934, uh, but we're above the moving averages and they'll be giving the push up. Again, RSI and MACD are okay. MACD, if we get a push up, will soon diverge short term above long term uh, to give that, uh, that push upwards. So that's been TA for traders. We've looked at four stocks, AB Foods, uh, Frontier Resources, Booker Group and RPC. Uh, certainly the, the pick of those at the moment are Booker and RPC. Uh, keep your eye on Frontier, it needs to get some more upside momentum. And AB Foods um, looks like we might have a short term bounce, um, which would be good but for the, the longer term, probably needs to consolidate a bit more. Many thanks for watching the video. Uh, I hope you found it of interest. Please remember, I do these videos for educational purposes, and they are my opinions, and they're not investment recommendations. Thank you.